Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today I'm bringing you these two models and I'm hoping to get some feedback from you and know which one you would like to have if you had to, to pick one. I know it's a tough decision but I would like to hear from you to know your opinion, which one and why. Although they look very similar, you can tell that one is a bit more plain and the other one obviously is more flashy. And I personally think that both of them they could find his way in your wardrobe at the same time. Here we can see the insoles in both of them, they are almost the same but one of them it has this uh, drawing and the other one is normal regular Ultra Boost 22 insole. As you can tell, the interior didn't change in both of them, they are exactly the same. Uh, unfortunately, this footbed is very hard, much harder than the plastic model, for example, because it is made with some uh, kind of fabric and it is reinforced with some uh, synthetic fibers. In this shot we can see the labels, this way you will be able to identify what models they are. The sole again, like we've seen in the left foot, they are more or less similar, obviously the colors are different. Another thing that I notice, for example the black color, the triple black color, came with some issues on the back of the heel. So just be sure you check them very well when you got them because these control uh, quality issues can happen and now they are made in China I'm imagining that they are making much faster these uh, sneakers than normal so just be sure you pay attention to the details And here we have the weight test, usually Ultra Boost has over 600 grams, that will be 21.16 ounces. This time again is no exception, they have over 600 grams, both of them.
Here I decided to add this extra video for those that need to know more or less how they fit these uh, sneakers for me and I will say they are true to size. In the length we can see that they have just a bit more than my uh, footbed and the width is slightly narrower for me both of them because they are in the same size 41 1 and 3rd or 18 USA and this thing is something to keep in mind if you have wider feet Adidas uh, Ultra Boost 22 it, it will not be the best uh, shoe for you Here are some real um, good on-fit shots because I needed to see a bit better the way that my feet look. This way you can make yourself an, an idea how is my instep and my arch and you can compare it with yours for example. In my case because I have a bigger instep you can tell that that part where is the instep it's a bit taller in my case and that my instep is pushing into that cage. Well with this cage I have some issues because on the interior part it has like a protuberance and that one is digging into my instep every time I'm trying to tie them very well. So if I don't tie them very well I don't have these issues but you cannot always wear them that way you know. So if you have flat feet and they are a bit narrower, I think for you they will fit very well. You won't have these issues that I have. Obviously you will have to check yourself, you know, just to be sure that for you they are fitting well. But it's something to keep in mind, this detail. remember if you are buying them to check that you see right there where i'm showing with my fingers be sure that that zone for you doesn't create discomfort also i would like to add that in the toe box i have around two centimeters uh, free space that will be almost one inch And again some different on-fit shots because this time I want to show you the silhouette that they have, how much uh, bulk you will have on the back and if you like them or not, you know, it's much more easier to see this way. I hope they are useful for you. One thing that I forgot to mention is that they have 22 um, millimeters on the heel and 12 in the forefoot and that means it has 10 millimeters drop on that missile. So, like you know, right at the end of the video, I will save my pros and cons. And the pros, you know, the colorways, obviously, there are so many. Everyone will find something to choose. Other pro will be, usually they have a good quality, but it can happen to have some uh, uh, quality issues also. No brand is perfect, so you might find issues on these ones. If you find, in my opinion, just give them back and buy another pair if you really want them. If not, of course, you can check other brands, but the same for pros. I like this upper, I like the laces and I like the sole more or less. I'm not very huge fan that is um, exposed foam but yeah it's not that bad this sole. I like it. The midsole well I don't get the cushioning that we used to have in the past with Ultra Boost. I mean they were epic back then. If somebody asked me what sneakers could I buy to have a good cushioning well Ultra Boost always would have been in my top three best uh, midsole in sneakers. Well, that is not uh, true anymore for me. They are a bit too rigid. They changed the composition. Now that foam is much more dense and I don't like them as much as I liked them in the past. The last uh, Ultra Boost that had soft foam was Ultra Boost 20. I feel that every Ultra Boost that came after 2020 didn't have this great foam like they had in the past. I like Adidas as a brand, I like Ultra Boost as a model, 
but they change it so much and I don't find the same qualities that they had in the past, unfortunately. I will end here this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe because it's very important for me and please take care of you.